Okay, so for our optional questions, uh, hopefully one or two of you are watching this, or perhaps you did them and you got feedback from me and you didn't need the videos because the feedback was enough. Great stuff. Okay, so let's let's have a look what's going on here. Something's wrong with these. Well, here I'm seeing these. We seem to see lots of isosceles triangles. There's an isosceles triangle. So isosceles means two angles of the same. How that looks, right? 70, 70. If you add them all up, you get 180. Wait, wait, wait a second. Those two angles should be equal to each other. Ah, okay. So if we were to explain it, then we could say, well, no, hang on. Those two angles should be the same. So it should have gone maybe like that, 70, 70, 40. Or it should have gone 40, 40, something else. But something to do with those are wrong. Or maybe the triangle should have been drawn. 70, 70, 40. Maybe the line should have been there. So can you see there are a few different ways of explaining how you might fix the diagram. Okay, right angle triangle, 3, 4, 5, 3 squared is 9. So it seems good, 3 squared plus 4 squared, 9 plus 16, 25, 5 squared, 25. So yeah, when you square... But wait a second. So there's something about the longest side opposite the longest, the biggest angle. Well, 90 degrees, this is our biggest angle, so hang on a second. Maybe that should have been a 5 and that should have been a 4. Something like that, maybe. You know, But this side must be the longest side, the hypotenuse in a right angle. Okay, we got 3 equal sides, which means 3 equal angles. Great stuff. So 70, 70, 70, these add up to 2... T right. Angles in a triangle should add up to 180. And we've seen an equilateral triangle by now. We saw it in the first question. So we know that equilateral triangles, this should have been 60, 60, 60 to make it an equilateral triangle. Um, okay, isosceles triangle, base angles are the same. Looking good? Not like the first question. And the other thing that we've used quite a bit is sum of angles in triangles. So 65 plus 65 plus 40 must be 180, right? So let's just check if that's the case. That's 130 plus 40. That's 170. Okay. So maybe maybe this should have been 50. Or maybe these should have been 70. But one of those two might have fixed it. 4, 7, 12. Hmm. That seems fine. 4, 7, 12. Why not? But wait a second, if that's 4 and that's 7, let's move these lines. So if I made that line pink and I put it over here, that's 4. Then I made this line, let's make it yellow, and I put it next to the other one, it's 7. Okay, so if it's flat, then the longest that that whole line there would be 11, right? But now let's, it looks like it's got a kink in it, right? So that 4 is over there. And that 7 is like over there. So then if we connected the two, let's do it maybe in red. If we connected, well, it's if that thing's gone up, then this distance must be shorter. So this one here must be less than 11. Because I don't know if you can see it. Uh, like if you've got the 4 and you've got the 7 then that whole distance is 11. But if you move them up, then can you see the distance between the bottom two must be shorter than 11, or if it moved. So, but now the distance is 12. So that, that doesn't work. So this side, I don't know, maybe it should have been 10. That could have worked, right? That could have been 10. But there's no ways that it's bigger than just lying them flat next to each other. Okay, and then I think we're on our last one. That is 5, 12, 13, 120. Cool. 5 and 12, 17. So, yeah, yeah, that, that could work, right? This isn't like this one. If you add these two together, it's bigger than that. Add those two. Okay, so it's not like question five. But wait, 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 wait. 5, 12, 13 to me, because I've seen enough of these rings a bell. I feel like I've I've seen that in like one of those Pythagoras ones. I feel like I've seen a triangle that looks like this. 
5, 12, 13, whether that was a right angle. If that's a right angle, then that squared plus that squared is that squared. Okay, so 5 squared plus 12 squared. Is that equal to 13 squared? If so, then it's a right angle. So 25 plus 144, 169. 13 squared, I know my times tables. Do you? One six, oh, so those are equal. So actually, that should have been a right angle. Ah, so hang on, that this isn't right. That should maybe have been a right angle. Who drew this diagram? Oh, wait, I did say there are problems with him. <laughs> okay, or maybe this length here shouldn't have been 13. It should have been a longer distance. I don't know. So either one of those, either the 13 or the 120 is wrong. I'm going to go with, I don't know. I, I almost don't want to say that that's a right angle because it doesn't look like a right angle. Anyway, so there we go. Hopefully that was helpful to at least one of you.